So when I make these videos, I try to remove all like audible distractions so that nothing gets in the way of, of what we're saying here. This is now at least the fifth time that I have tried to film this particular devotion because every time I start, I'm in my backyard right now, and every time I start, um, one of the neighbor dogs just starts barking and barking and barking, and I don't want you to hear that on the devotion. And um, and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for that to stop. You know, dogs bark, that's fine. Um, but it just keeps happening and going on and on and on. So that can be frustrating and that, that can be hard sometimes. In Joshua chapter 11, um, you know, Joshua is fighting against all these different kings. And it says that Joshua had been waging war against all these kings for a long time, it says. And based on what, uh, based on some details in the Bible, some details in the book of Joshua, we can piece it together to know that Joshua was waging war against these kings for a lot longer than my neighbor dogs were barking. They were waging war against, he was waging war against these kings for seven years. And that can be a long time, especially for a nation that was really in the back of their minds expecting that the moment they stepped out of Egypt, they were going to get into that promised land. But that's not how it went. They wandered through the wilderness. They start fighting these kings. It goes on and on and on and on for seven years. And that can be a hard journey when something hard goes on like that. Like, like imagine, what, like how would you feel if I were to tell you that starting tomorrow, the next seven years of your marriage are going to be the most difficult years of all? You wouldn't want to go there. At least you'd be really reluctant to. That starting tomorrow, for the next seven years, your health is going to take a turn for the worse, and then another one, and then another one, and it's going to keep getting harder and harder. Or what if I were to tell you that starting tomorrow for the next seven years, there's no way you're going to get yourself out of your debt. No way you're going to be able to recover. No way you're going to be able to do anything except keep piling up more and more debt. What if I told you that starting tomorrow for the next seven years, you were going to feel more anxious and sad and lonely and guilty than you ever have before. That would be a hard journey to take willingly. But of course, when we're on these journeys, they come whether we want them or not often. And as you go through these things, and many of you are going through these things right now, like you're in the middle of it, and so much so you can't even see a way out. It just seems like it's going to go on and on and on forever, but, but it won't. As you think about all these things that that keep going on for a very long time, just know that there's one thing in your life that lasts even longer than all of these things. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says, the eternal God is your refuge. And underneath you are his everlasting arms. When Jesus came here, because of his completed work, we know all of your troubles, they have an expiration date. Even the weakness of your flesh, the sinful weakness, it has an expiration date. But God's love for you, it doesn't. It is eternal, it is everlasting, and it's yours today and every day. Rest well tonight, my friends.